On this installment of Retro Tech Time, we are looking at setting up and using the updated GoTech USB floppy disk emulator for use with MS-DOS systems. Welcome to the Retro Tech Time channel. I'm your host Terry Steggy, aka Data Soup. In this video, we are going to look at setting up, using, and troubleshooting a GoTech floppy drive emulator. So first we need to line up the floppy drive ribbon cable side one with the pin one, and that's with those red arrows there. Next we'll look at the jumper settings. This is how my setup worked. Uh, it's the two small yellow arrows with the two shunt boxes. That's where those jumpers are sitting. This particular GoTech came with a speaker built inside for floppy drive sounds. That's the gray wire connected to one of those pins. Kind of a nice to have feature. So after I got my GoTech installed, I decided to put a few image files on a USB drive and boot it up. When I did, I noticed that the screen was upside down and I was getting this error 34 code. After doing some research online, I found this was actually a directory structure error, which is caused by the USB drive not being formatted as FAT32. I found some of my drives would not allow me to format them as FAT32. So to work around this problem, we're going to open up PowerShell as an administrator and we're going to change the file structure of this USB drive to the FAT32 system. So we're going to use a format command that will change the file system using a switch and then we're going to choose the drive letter which in our case is F drive on this USB drive. This is a pretty lengthy process, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit, just for time's sake. And the last step will be naming the USB drive. So we're going to need to download a couple files, um, IM disk, flash floppy, and then whatever images that you want to put on your GoTech. Some of these hard to find drivers and OS's are actually located on the Internet Archive. I'm not condoning copying any software, but if you have a valid copy, but you would like to have an image file of it, this is the fastest and best way to get that. I'm going to leave a few links in the description below. You can actually download these from uh, our sister website, thetandyshack.com, or I do have the links to the actual um, programs as well. After everything's downloaded, be sure to install the IM Disk and Flash Floppy software. After you've downloaded and extracted or created image files, you need to move them over to your GoTech USB drive that you recently formatted. From your flash floppy install, you need to bring over the ffconfig file, and we're going to need to modify that to fix the upside down display and also make it work with PC or MS-DOS. You'll need to edit a couple things in this file. The first one is the interface needs to read IBM PC 
and the host needs to be PC-DOS. Again, this is for MS-DOS machines. If your GoTech display has the rotated problem, all you have to do is go to the display dash type section and change the setting from auto dash rotate to display type equals OLED minus 128 times 64 minus rotate. I do have a copy of that FF config also on the Tandy Shack website and the link is in the description. Next we'll boot up with our freshly formatted USB drive. You'll notice the display is up right now and it does show the very first image that we copied over, the CD-ROM image. On the bottom left you can see how many images are on this USB drive as well as what tracks the GoTech are reading at the moment. So we'll take a look at the machine and on the A drive we now see the CD-ROM install disk is installed. Next we'll switch to the disk 1 setup and we'll take a look at that directory. And it changed. Now we'll look at disk number 2, just rotating the knob and that should show the directory of disk number two. And finally we will switch over to disk three and that directory shows and that's the correct amount of files. The other application you downloaded was called IM disk. We're going to run that to create a virtual disk image that we can create adding whatever kind of files that we would like to onto that image to transfer to our PC from our GoTech. Here we're going to copy a already created blank floppy disk image. Name it whatever we want to and that's going to be our basis for an image file that we can create our own files and put them on that image to transfer. Next we're going to run the IM disk application. We're going to mount the new test image that we just created or copied and we're going to call it the B drive. That will allow us to use Windows Explorer to copy files over onto this floppy disk image. Now these won't just show up immediately in your Explorer. You'll have to go to your either My PC or This PC. Then you should have a B drive or whatever drive letter you chose. Now we can create a text file, for example. Uh, we'll name it something small. And we'll just give it a small bit of text inside, just so we can see it when we load it on the GoTech. Now we can either unmount, close, or shut down this application. You can hit save, but it will actually save it when you shut down, so it doesn't matter. However way you want to do it works just fine. Now we need to take that newly created test image file and put it on our GoTech USB drive. You'll notice there's an image underscore a dot config file that was put there by the GoTech the very first time that we booted it up. The GoTech will use that file to remember what the last image was that you were looking at when it booted up last. So now we're going to reinstall the USB drive in our MS DOS machine and choose the test image that we just created. And we'll do a directory on that drive and let's see if our file's there. 
and it is. Next, we want to take a look at that text file and make sure it has what we typed in it. So we'll just type the text file's name and see what we have. And there you have it. As always, thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment about this episode or what you would like to see covered in future episodes down below.